Yeah, I'm sad. I feel sad and in denial. And also, like, grateful that we've been able to last this long and that we've been able to reach so many people. I've, I know that I get so many messages from people who are in the LGBTQ community, people of color, uh, other Asian men that tell me this is the first time that they've seen themselves represented on their TVs in a way that's not like being a clown or like the butt of the joke. Uh, so that's like been huge for, for me because I didn't have that growing up. Um, and to know that, that we've been giving that to people for six years now is something that will resonate with me for the rest of my life. Um, and is very, I'm very grateful and also very sad that it's ending because it's, we still have a long way to go in terms of representation for you know, Asians and Asian men uh, on TV that are shown in three-dimensional ways. The biggest lesson I've learned from playing my character is, you know, it pays off to have a really good heart in the middle of all of this craziness. You've got to maintain, like, your integrity through it all, and I think that that's, like, what <laughs> what I've learned. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, it, Oliver's such a, is the, probably the sweetest one of all of them and uh, is the light in all of the darkness of the show. So, uh, and that's been important to kind of balance out the show, so. Yeah, I mean, I feel like my character's uh, relationship, Oliver and Connor's relationship has been a bright spot in the middle of, it's, it's the thing that grounds the whole show uh, because they've been able to nurture a loving relationship go through the dating and then eventually being in a relationship and then getting married on the show. Uh, it's been the bright spot in all of the misery. So, uh, yeah, they've been, they've been able to navigate it so far, but, you know, the FBI is closing in. So <laughs> we'll see who turns on who and, and uh, you know, what alliances are, are made and broken in the meantime.